hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be walking us through the process and how this video was created open your canva then go to video okay so the first thing we want to do is to add a guide to our background that is going to divide this background to three equal half so for you to do this you click on fill then come to view settings then click on click on hard guides then here you come to custom then under columns you change from six to three then under gap you change from 32 to zero then you click on add guides and you can see we have three separate days so next you click on the background to change the background color to any color of your choice so this is it next you click on elements then to add your material so the first material we have here we need a, a plain a square shape so you click on this square shape then you expand it okay next we also need another square shape so you click on it again then this time around you move it to this point then you click on transparency and turn off the transparency then this is done then next you group the two shapes together and have this group okay so we can change the color if you so want to any color of your choice then that's cool then you can also duplicate this to two then you also change the color to another color of your choice okay so we have this once it's done you drag this to this point you also drag this one as well okay so having this done the next thing is for you to start bringing in your element so you click on elements then this is my first material i have this i will have this then i choose to resize it to this size then have something like this then next i will add my text so you click on text to add your text So next is to animate our text and our element so you click on the text you click on animate then you select pop then you can also reduce the speed of this then you do same to this you click on pop and you as well reduce the speed of this okay So proceeding you click on this you right click then you click on duplicate page okay so this is a duplicated page then i will drop this too then move it to the right okay so once you bring it to second image then you go back you can by this time you click on these to remove you click on the animation to remove the animation on the second page so you do same to this remove animation then you can copy this text and copy it something like this and you rename it you have taco so you rename it then you increase it to this point okay so here you also click on animate then to add your pop animation reduce the speed then you do same for the next material So you drag this other page down here 
Okay, so you have that then you come back to your element to bring in the last material you have. So this is it. So moving ahead, the last thing you need to add is for you to add your transition. So you come here, you click on transition, then here you click on match and move to have something like this so you can apply it between all pages and that is done so if you're playing this you have something like this okay guys so this is how this video is created so if you find this video useful if you love everything here please do well to subscribe to this channel to receive further video on how to create product animation using canva thank you see you in my next video